action. All right, going. The, this is the pulley rack, and uh, I'll show you how to install it and use it. The, the headstock here has a little adjuster, and this should be pointing upwards. You should put the rope between the headstock arms in a downward direction. Just insert it through there, and then come to the first roller, just beyond the first roller, and start weaving back and forth each little link and roller has an opening just weave back and forth until you get down to the hitch climber pulley at which point you can go through the hitch climber pulley and then collapse the whole the whole pulley rack as it's as it's sitting here neutral or collapsed on the on the line. What I would recommend is you you t begin to tighten the set screw until it just starts to bind on the rope, and then maybe go half a turn or so, so that it grips reliably. Now I'll ascend. Well, first of all, when, when you get ready to ascend and you have it weighted, you should grip it in your hand something like this, and pull down with your thumb to start releasing it and it'll start to slide down when you pull down with your thumb. If you're limb walking, it's best to pull on both sides to release it completely. And then it just cinches back up. Let me demonstrate a little bit on the line here. To pull it along, I have this chest ascender, which I attach to the midpoint of the hitch climber pulley, you could go over the shoulder with your lanyard or to your chin strap if you want, like Drew does. I just get my left foot pant and I connect to the hitch climber pulley with my chest strap. And I'm ready to ascend. If it doesn't grip for you, just Tighten the the little tension set screw a bit more. And of course, I could go up with a frog walking system, but I'm just demonstrating. Then you release your fenders, and uh, you just release like I showed. Pull down, grasp it in your hand, and pull down on this thumb release. The harder you pull, the faster you go. But it's quite smooth and, and uh, easily controlled. This is a Tachyon 7 16 It works very well on this rope. It also works on a half-inch rope. And it will work on a fly line, but I have to change the roller size because of the smaller diameter rope. Anyway, that's how it works. Hope you like it.